See, I told y'all. Hold on. Let, let me. Hold on. Let me see something real quick. Like, I gotta see something real quick. Hold on. Angel, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, did, I, I told y'all. Hold on. Let me see Ain't that twice. Yeah, no. like, look, look, look. Archangel, you look. How long we been doing this shit? How long we been doing this motherfucking shit? It don't make no motherfucking sense. It don't make no sense. Ain't this a motherfucking coincidence? Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I'm gonna follow that. I'm gonna one hell of a coincidence, ain't it? Yeah, one hell of a coincidence. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna head go over that. Oh, Roblox head part two. I y'all say how you Roblox head part two? How his child get uh, get caught watching his mother's porn on Roblox? Did not tell y'all. Oh, we gonna go in on the spiritual energy because goddamn it, we've been sitting here speaking prophecy for a long time now, and I and I'm going against all demons now. So every time I see it, uh, well, no, I'm, we we stamping it. We stamping it. We motherfucking stamping it. Every time we see a situation that we already spoke about, I already spoke this was going to happen. So Kanye doing the right thing right now. Kanye, just chill out. Let them keep trying to create narratives and stuff like that. Look, we got we got Pete Adamson, Raccoon Face, right now up here talking about him being bothered by Kanye text messages and stuff like that because it remind him of being fucking bullied. That's a narrative. That's a narrative. That's a Wiz Khalifa narrative right there. Then we got... Kip Little Short Saint, Saint, I think that's his name, Saint. Kim Kardashian, shout out to Massive Mommy, uh, no revenge brand, T Melanie. It's Rebel Jewel. We got uh, Elevation, this motherfucker's mind, spirit, soul, activation, Venus love. Check this out. We, uh, main, uh Manic Moon, I, I like that name. We got motherfucker Roblox head part two. So look, our words mean something. So the spirit of Uriel worked through the actual video game of Roblox. To play out as a vet, as a live vessel, an example of what I said was going to happen. Shit going to backfire. Whatever that they think that they're going to do for narratives or the show or whatever like that. As long as Kanye don't shout the natural selection. As long as Kanye don't add to it, then it's going to be up to us to make a judgment. And when you're doing it in God's way, a.k.a. Kanye, this is Kanye's version of doing it God's way. A.k.a. letting the situation have space. Letting the situation have room. Regardless of how the footprints of the sand that you laid in that situation look at the moment. And it's a lot of things of the world in that space to have you look, have to have you looking kind of funny. And you might jump into that ego because of all the narratives around that form that make you feel funny on what a man supposed to look like or what it looked like when someone have children with someone. And it's like all of these allegories are like, just fight it, fight it, fight it. You know what I'm saying? He's been doing a good job. Kanye been doing a good job. So God been working a lot faster. You know what I'm saying? See, usually when God going to do what God do anyway. All possibilities going to do what all possibilities do with it anyway. But a spirit is the one that's acting these things out in possibilities. But here's a spirit fault. A spirit get on a polar shift within that space. And space like to have equilibrium when you're mimicking that spirituality. You're not mimicking spirituality if you're not using equilibrium. You're, mim you're mimicking one of the Luc Lucifers, one of the lesser of the two evils. So Kanye got to make sure that none of those lights hit him and drag him into that hell. Which he was watching my video. He was listening. So he separated himself from the situation, right? And, uh, and then look, once he separated himself, oh, okay. Once he separated himself from the situation, right? Boom. Now that's going to allow the demons to use the demonic world. Logic. Likes. You know what I'm saying? Pandering. Propaganda. Na narratives. So the pandering is going to go to catering to everybody who look up to Kim Kardashian and think what she's doing is acceptable. So they can throw all morality out the window when it comes to her with their religious role colored glasses. F fuck the fact that she's 40 plus. Fuck the fuck the fact that she got four kids. Fuck the fuck all that. It's about her happiness. It's about her happiness now. And she could be happy. And, th and then boom, you got the narratives of uh uh Pete Davidson, right? He coming out talking about uh him being bullied and this motherfucker shit, and Kanye texting him as reminding him that nobody told him to get with a married woman. 
You fucking with a married woman who did some type of sanctification at a church before she got married. So you reaping some of those benefits. Then you're going to try to make it seem like by you, you use, utilizing your popularity as an anchoring system to change a narrative where in actuality in all existences, you, you bear the fruit that you bear. And the fruit that you bear is you was married. You messing with a married woman with 40 kids who's 20 plus years older than you in some way, shape or form. So whatever's coming with that, you're supposed to be spiritually strong to be ready for that. Other than that, you sitting up here complaining. Planning is a fucking narrative of I'm being manipulated. It's a fucking narrative of I'm the victim. It's a fucking narrative that we ain't, that we in God's world right now. That's not allowed to be used in God's world. Not if Uriel got anything to do with it. Sorry, that might have worked probably two years ago, three years ago when the world was still thrunked out. Kanye West probably wouldn't have had a channel like Minds to Watch. So he probably would have participated and they probably would have got away with their demonic energy a little bit. Even though God going to do what God do anyway and that will. And God's will, everything in that space of all possibility, God going to make it do it. But you would have slowed it up, Kanye, and to the process to the point that you would have let them get a little bit of shit off. Like probably had a, another hit show, another hit season. You know what I'm saying? Then Pete Davidson probably could have drank off that, then become a, a po more a popular ass comedian, knowing he ain't funny and knowing he ain't popular. You know what I'm saying? Like an F, a F list cele uh, I mean, um, comedian. Right. If you were to add on to it and things of that nature, it would have was these popping up. It always popping up when I'm live. This shit don't never pop up if I ain't on the phone. All right. Boom. You would allow them to get off with something because you would have added on to the fuel. And then God would have had to create a situation to tear everything down. All participants who's adding to it, foolish or not. But by you watching my channel and by you being a little wise now in some way, shape, or form, you separated it from a little bit. And then you didn't get in your ego even watching my shit when I'm calling you Roblox head. No, I'm, I'm, I'm working right now. Just let me work. It, you, as long as you smiled and laughed, that was, you added the positive energy to whatever I'm doing behind closed doors. So, boom. So, just take the joke. Roblox had two years. Yeah, it's, it's laughing and whatever. But you you know from a spiritual nature, you know I'm on, you know I'm on your side. You, like, you know that. That's how I come across as Uriel. Now, since you did one step, God took another. You see how fast it come? They, could, they ain't even get a chance to get a whole season off to be successful. They ain't even get a whole chance of a few months down the line to change the narrative enough that we could be used to it to the point that it's, it appears to be what they're doing is normal. They ain't even get a chance. You see how fast it come? Quick, fast, and hurry? Now, your child was had to be sacrificed a little bit. You know what I'm saying? A.K.A. based upon her already having your child up under these cameras on a 24-7 basis and shit like that. Then your child had to be sacrificed as from the filtering system of her one of her ghosts. One of her one of her ghosts is these por the porno that she did with Ray J. So that's this is one of her ghosts, right? So remind you, demons, ghosts always pop up in their face. They can't get away with nothing. I don't care if they if they got away with something at a time that you wish they didn't got away with it. Believe me, God always going to get them. All possibilities always going to make it possible to show you that a demon ain't going to get away with shit. You see what I'm saying? Thank you so much for the donation, Kevin Grant. Real shit. So, you're not going to get away with nothing. And it's always going to come in something that you're not paying attention to at the moment. But you didn't take care of that responsibility and you weren't spiritually wise enough to not experience that and not even have that as a motherfucking memory. You know what I'm saying? So for the most part, it's a ghost. So for the, it came, she's handling, she then created so many other ghosts and stuff like that. Now she's trying to, too busy with this ghost, this ghost pop up. So boom, her fucking son, her and Kanye West's son, and what a motherfucker could Winky Dean. Roblox! Come on, man. Roblox. Laura, I don't even want to get into how much energy I put into that. But like I said, right, uh, all the live streams, I didn't call this cat Roblox. But for the most part, look, boom. It got filtered through that energy of my workings. Then God participated. And then Kanye West was a good student. He just listened. Boom. He ain't got to do nothing. All it took for all it took was for the environment and for a demon shit to come back in their face. For a demon ghost to pop back in their face. Now we can all make our own judgment, but it's the right way. And now we're seeing that it don't matter what Kim Kardashian doing. She's still in the light of being a bad parent. Regardless if she's enjoying herself right now. Regardless if she's in her feelings right now. Regardless if Pete Davidson feel like he don't want to get bullied. Whatever narrative they're trying to play. 
it don't work because the fruit that they bear is God in work right now. And the fruit that you bear is, bitch, you too busy on somebody, some young man's dick right now where you don't know the video games that your motherfucking kid is playing. And then you listening to motherfuckers on the internet thinking everything is a goddamn joke because I'm calling your motherfucking husband Roblox head too, not knowing that these are signs. You, you, bitch, you better start listening to the signs. Bitch, these are signs, filter systems. They come in different ways. You ain't going to hear no actual voice. Angels don't come to you as an actual voice. And I, I hate that I had to come as actual physical form. But other than that, though, we come through messages. We come through things that you watch, things that you do, things, music, songs, allegories, songs, P-S-A-L-M, all these motherfucking shits. So you can listen to this and have cloudy judgment, not understanding the video I uploaded earlier about having spiritual by zine for your chakra eyeballs so you too cloudy in what you were seeing and thinking somebody joking for likes or just that and a third and not understanding the signs roblox roblox head part two you wasn't hearing the signs now you didn't got caught up because you didn't too busy thinking with some young man dick on your fucking mind and got your son on, on being a motherfucking new internet baby a new tablet baby playing motherfucker because if you would have just been cool with kanye kanye would have been having your son in the studio Plan Roblox, and that's where how your son discovered you got a porn. Something you never wanted your son to motherfucking see. Something you never even wanted your son to motherfucking know. And your son figured it out on his own. You know how? God's will. Let God's will be done, bitch. Oh, I'm sad, real shit. Don't go, it don't go no further than that. It don't go no further than that, real shit. It just do it just don't go no further than that. It just don't go no further than that. Let God's will be done, bitch. And I'm going to let, let God, all possibility, that will inside it, be done into realm of reality, bitch, because you a demon and you was trying to use it. And you couldn't get nowhere far because Kanye West ain't let you get nowhere far because he ain't add to it. He ain't add to your spaceship. He ain't add no feelings, add no gas to your spaceship to make you go to your direction and your goal much faster. Bitch, you can't go to your goal that fast now. Bitch, you can't have it all be PC, beautiful, uh, 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 beautiful uh, girl in the world now. You know what I'm saying? Everything be calm. I'm cool and collected. No, nope, it take a little longer to reach there now. It take a little more fire hula hoops to get there now, bitch, because you've been doing the demonic work. You've been doing the devil's work. All that demonic shit you've been doing, you've been doing the devil's work. And right now, God is here. All possibilities is here. Be careful what come out your fucking mouth. Be careful what you're saying. Be careful how you actually are as a spirit and then what you create as a golem when you're around other individuals who's not spiritually inclined enough to see behind the veil. So, yeah, you could create any kind of mentality and shape it in any kind of form you want it to look. It could look like a thousand beautiful balloons with all kind of hearts and things and stuff on there and things of that nature. Knowing behind closed doors is really uh, your spirit like to really create snakes you just got real good at creating like them little clown balloon shows making making the balloon look something different than what it is in some way shape or form but the engineer of it is a clown in some way so if you can see beneath the veil and shit like that that's how you see these individuals that's how you see kim kardashian they twist and tie the balloon aka the narrative make it look like something is not when we know it's just something with air in it so they just blowing smoke, blowing a lot of air. And God ain't going to allow them to do that right now. You better motherfucker believe it. And I, I thank God Kanye West was watching. Kanye West had to be watching because he was going reckless until I said something. He was all over the place until I said something. He chilled the fuck out. You see how fast God worked now? You see how much more easy it's going to be in that courtroom now to whatever you want to whatever you want done? You see how much it, it you see how much you didn't have to lift a finger now? You see how much when you let God do something, you see how you don't really gotta do nothing at all? Just be? Real shit. That's how angels come. We don't come no other kind of way. Just calm down. Chill out. God gonna play out. You see, you ain't had to do nothing. You had to lift no finger, nothing. You seeing the destruction. You seeing them lift all the fingers. You seeing them be wrong. You you now. Now who they going to call? You the first person they got to call now. You know what I'm saying? To the point that they're going to start reaching some common sense. Pete Adamson ain't got no, uh, Uncle Fester's nephew, ain't got no business dealing with some old ass person's wife. And Kanye West, you ain't got no business uh, participating in it that way. And you kind of know that now. And Kim Kardashian ain't got no business trying to make it be all cool and calm and shit like that by using her celebrity to anchor that narrative. Because that's all they doing, using TMZ and all this shit. They're anchoring their motherfucking celebrity to push a narrative. So we got so we got to throw morality out the window. We got to say fuck that she 40 plus. We got to say fuck that she got four kids with another individual. 
We got to say fuck marriage counseling and things of that nature. We got to say fuck trying to make it work and stuff. We got to accept them being a celebrity and accept them just wanting to feel good. You know what I'm saying? So regardless of whatever funked out shit that they doing in actuality, right, the fruit that they bear, we have to accept it because it make good TV and we have to look at these people like they somebody that they actually not. Bitch, you got blood flowing through you. Bitch, you ain't shit. This little explanation that you paying TMZ and everybody to make us feel like, oh, you are doing the right thing. Bitch, you shouldn't have got married in the first place. Bitch, you shouldn't have got four kids in the first place. That's what we should be talking about. That's what kind of shit you should be saying on a TV show. For other individuals who may have fell short, but since you fell further than them, each one teach one. You already did it so they don't have to bitch play your role that's who you is y'all celebrities be trying to be motherfuckers y'all ain't so every time y'all get exposed in a certain way now y'all need pr motherfucker whole communities whole communities of prs and shit like that and motherfuckers can help you not look at the way that you could be looked at and from the public and shit like that so to help you not be looked at the way you don't want to be looked at now fuck all that if you just be your motherfucking self you're gonna find a hundred million people who be their motherfucking selves just like you and now you got something to actually teach other than that bitch you pandering so every time we see you up there talking about oh everybody just need to work hard you don't know how to work hard y'all ain't everybody ain't working hard enough bitch you pandering <sighs> bitch you pandering you know what I'm saying? Because the fruit that you bear is you ain't a good motherfucking parent. Because last time I checked, my my child, I got I got an email and password on my daughter's tablet. You know I'm saying so I I I ain't gotta wake up and my credit card is on uh below balance and zero and shit like that. And then I can't figure it out until a month later. I go I go on my daughter's tablet. She got about a hundred thousand new Sonic and Mario video games and stuff like that. Mario Karts. You know what I'm saying? New Battle Toad video games and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, playing real good. No wonder she was so quiet. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't got that problem, but see, you got that problem. See, you're all rich. And see, you see how the rich, the Lucifer, the demonic, the material world leads you into destruction in some way, shape, or form. All the way to motherfucker, rest in peace, Kobe Bryant and his daughter. But it's a lot, it's a prime example where you could have just went on the road like everybody else, but your celebrity made you feel like this was more convenient. Taking a helicopter up the street. You know what I'm saying? You could have just drove up the street. You took the helicopter up the street and goddamn sacrificed you, your daughter, and everybody who was with y'all, including the pilot. So rest in peace, all of them. I speak no malice on that energy, just utilizing it as a form of te teaching references right now on how celebrities get convenient in the Luciferian energy, and then they sit up here, and the first thing that come out their mouth is, God was the reason for this. Wait a minute. You ain't about to do nothing but speed up your death, speed up your your front out uh 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 scandal, speed up your front out ass getting ready to get broke or some goddamn shit because you're using God's name in vain. You using words for shit that ain't nobody told you that had anything to do with nothing. Hey, fours are cheating cheaters, Libra zebras. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. We can't be going all that because they sit up here and it, it make you feel jealous like God don't like you when they sit up here and say, God is the reason I'm rich. If it wasn't for God, it wasn't this. Then when something front out happens, something bad happened, it's your fault. You got to go to jail now. It's your fault they records ain't selling. It's your fault they movies ain't selling. It's your fault the television ain't on right now. It's the devil fault right now in their life. It ain't got nothing to do with them no more. To the point that they have to understand it got something to do with them, period. Whether they got rich or not, but it always boils down to you. Stop practicing witchcraft. You know I said? Because that's what people get flunked out in the world. And then you would think this celebrity is better than you because of the things that you're blinded of. If you didn't watch my video earlier, you need spiritual visine for your chakra ball eyes, chakra eyeballs. You get blinded on what this actual person have obtained. Not knowing what they have went through to get there. And a lot of times, some people, it just takes them to know a person. And it ain't what you know how to do is who you know. And a lot of times, that's how they got into these spaces. But you can see them fall and crash into these spaces a lot faster also. So you just have to be spiritually inclined enough to know how to sit back. And have some spiritual insight on what the fuck you actually paying attention to. Because a lot of y'all get blinded by what these celebrities got. And shit like that. And not knowing that these motherfuckers is very fucked up. And you would think that since they said... Oh, it's only in God's will that I got this. You're blinded in the things that they got. So then you start to tie that as the reason why you think this person is better than you or God is in your life more, is in their life more. And here's where you start to manifest more flunked out days of uh, being insecure, devaluing yourself in very small, subtle ways that you may not be paying attention to. But it can lead into ways to the point that you won't even 
extend your creativity or extend your location or extend your ability to obtain certain jobs because you already secure one area like that can never be me i'm only here you know what i'm saying so even in little ways like that that you don't even think that's preventing your life from expanding it play out like that too you know what i'm saying so it's a deep ritual and psyche that these things got us in and these words we cannot allow these celebrities to utilize what's clouding us aka what they're using in front of of them as a spirit, which is their status, their Lucifer, their Jesus, their light, and what they manifested from that, and using that as an example on why God care about them more than you. We got to get out of that whole circumstance, and we got to hold their feet to the fire too, and tell them to stop saying that. God ain't got nothing to do with you got being rich. That's some got something to do with the fucking Jewish mysticism and you being a motherfucking puppet, and you calling them God without you knowing it. You know what I'm saying? That's what it got something to do with. And if these celebrities ain't going to wake up in that fashion, this is why they all becoming YouTubers and going and gonna to remix it to them doing the same thing. No, if they're going to become YouTubers, if they're going to become trying to be spiritual and stuff like that, then they need to learn real spirituality in some way, shape, or form. And learn how to not tie these energies to things that got something to do with the Luciferian world, the demonic world, the Jewish world. Thank you so much for the day, Kevin Gant. You said, if the demons are enslaved, does it equal reincarnation? <sighs> The way you put that, I want to believe you've been watching my channel, so I want to believe you said that in the right context. So I want to say yes, if you're talking about it in the context of how it's supposed to be. Because, you know, another person would have said that it would have been a word in there that threw everything else off. And then I would have had to say, nah, demon don't even mean that. What you mean, slaying demons and then you're reincarnating? I think you know what you're talking about, though. So, yes, when you don't slay all your demons, you don't slay everything that's attached to the world, when you die... You have, to, you have to learn that lesson again, and you be deeper in these things. So it may play out as even more catastrophic moments. You may be born in a more fucked up living condition, and you might not have no more support. You might, you might be in a so hellistic state that everything outside of you going to put you into a space of wanting to run from these things. And that's when you get back on your journey. And some people will take other, other worlds, minds that bend in on itself and had a body that that world could live through. Some people will take more of those incarnations than others. And this, this creates the concept of reincarnation a lot of motherfuckers got to redo things because they're they, they don't know how to motherfucking graduate from a fucking desire and these desires is built off what your mind and your mind built what your brain your organs so if you know what your organs and your geographical location consist of you know how to change that if you want to stop being in that specific location or that specific motherfucking uh living condition and keep manifesting the same people, places, and things, right? You know what you have to change. If you're if what you've been doing now is what you've always been doing. So for the most part, if you experiencing now your energies on a percentage level scale, whatever it is, right, then you know now what you need to change. The mind state that developed that current situation. And the mind state you're gonna develop now is ways of how to get up out of that one and ways of how to stop reproducing those same thoughts and feelings. And therefore, you created an incarnated mind, not a reincarnated mind. So that's that seed, that incarnate seed, is a more invasive one. It's a more expansive one. So when you die from the brain and the mind and the experience that you have developed from when you did that previously to be in this one currently, right, you're able to change that situation a little bit. So even if you incarnate back into a human, you won't reincarnate though, aka have similar flunked out situations and circumstances. You will be in a newer situation, a situation that might be more in your favor. Parents, family, associates, friends, geographical location that more support whatever chakra that you're creating that's going to become a gift or a talent that you put out to the world. You see what I'm saying? It play out like that. So it's a, it's a percentage level into everything. Reincarnation can lead into each particle. And what do I mean by that? You have to reincarnate a mind state, reincarnate a, 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 a um, and a body. So just because you incarnate into a different mind state, don't mean you're not reincarnating into a similar form at times. Sometimes you have to reincarnate into forms until those outweigh. See what I'm saying? So it's, it's, a, it's a process in all realms of reality. But when we start to talk about goddamn Kim Kardashian and all this motherfucking shit like that, she reaping what the fuck she sold right now. So she ain't got no business even, well, she do have business calling Kanye, but goddamn it, Kanye should be feeling like it, it was, it's inevitable. That was the first person she was going to call. Goddamn it, she wasn't going to call no Pete. You know what I'm saying? Because that's their child. And their child was playing a video game called Roblox. And I always call Kanye Roblox Head Part 2. Kim Kardashian is the feminine duality energy. So 
Kanye being Roblox head part two, Roblox energy had to be filtered through the duality, the woman. And then therefore it's being filtered through the father, son, and the Holy Spirit. So the three, the woman, the man, Roblox head part two, the woman part two, then the son, right? And through the son is how Christ get manifested, how God get manifested. So this is a representation of the space she in. When she manifested her Christ, her light through her son, now she get to see as a representation of the fruit that she bear. It's negative shit because the fruit was her son seeing one of her ghosts, her porno that she got with Ray J. So we know where she at as a spirit, regardless of how much she give off ducats to TMZ or regardless of how much she going to use her family to create a narrative. You see what I'm saying? So it, go, it goes beyond. Thank you so much for the donation, Kevin Gant. You said you changed my life, been watching you, and I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. You better believe it. Because we're going to have to get this to a point where Will Smith is not going across the fucking country getting sad guru, the, one of the, the flunked out Indians rich, you know what I'm saying, uh, and, and then he don't see no results. So it was just entertainment for real. It's entertainment where you got a live angel in America that don't want a dime. And shit like that. You could have came to my motherfucking backyard. Laid on your goddamn stomach. I would have told you nah here's a seat. You know what I'm saying. And I bet you wouldn't have been crying at the motherfucking Oscar awards. Real motherfucking shit. This don't make no sense down here. You know what I'm saying. This don't make no motherfucking sense down here. You know what I'm saying. Uh, uh, thank you so much for the donation Kenzo Lee. It don't make no motherfucking sense. And this ain't nothing but full moon energy. This ain't nothing but full moon energy. You know what I'm saying? So don't ever get that fucked up too. See, look, when you a celebrity, you have no choice but to look at spirituality as entertainment. Because you, you don't have a lot of time to put in it. You have to go participate with the world. So once you're participating with the world, right, you're shaking. Once you're a celebrity, you're shaking so many hands. You're doing so much. You're making so much money. The energy in the sky hits you a lot harder than someone who have a mundane life. A person who have a mundane life have more separation, have more spiritual space before having to jump into another space. So they have more time to recollect and see what's going on. So they have more development on what common sense mean. So for a lot of times, right, as a celebrity, sometimes just wrong place, wrong time, or just the things that they're involved in. By default, they're in the magic square. So by default, they end up experiencing the transits and the Passovers and shit like that. So by default, we get to see them as live examples of these tarot cards. Live examples of Gematria. Live examples of being motherfucker thrunked out right now and washed away up under the current by these fucking alignments. So Libra full moon, we can, we can actually see a demon that's in the world that's actually going to be a Libra Play these energies out for all of us who have spiritual space a little bit, a little bit of peace, a little bit are able to see it from a spiritual perspective, whether you're into spirituality or not. This is what you're actually doing when you're not as involved into the world. Your spirit has a, a lot more space in between before involving yourself in those things that's in these spaces that involves time. So you're able to look at these things objectively. With a subjective point of view that's more in God's favor. And therefore, you'll be able to see other people who make mistakes even when they don't see that they're making mistakes. And therefore, this, this calls true wisdom. Because a spirit that's using the world to gain stability, security, and safety, especially the shadow government magic square, you being a real wild spirit, you're able to see the spaceship that they jumped in and you're able to see the direction that it goes. See, a celebrity or, or people who trying to be these things, whether you, you're trying to be a scientist, this rich, or this, however your way of trying to gain stability, security, and safety with their magic square. A lot of times, you only can see the spaceship you're in. You only think your spirit is the mind. So you can never see the direction. You can only go as you go. Get gas as you get it. Ask, ask others for gas, emotional, emotional stability to add to that. But as a true spirit, you know how to see things from a mile away. You know what kind of spaceship you want before you even go to that used car lot to take it as is what it is. So when you see a celebrity, a lot of times you be seeing what kind of spaceships they be in, what kind of rims it is. You already know what kind of spirit they is and where they are going, even when they don't know where they're going. So you can assess it and be like, look, this is what you're doing. And this, how, this comes with true counseling. Or, or, or consultation. This what you're doing, and you may not know that the kind of spaceship you got, it only have wheels or, or it only have flight or propellers or, or wings that go in this direction. This won't be suitable for this path or this street in the esoteric world or this uh, or this air atmosphere. 
you need another type of spaceship for this. So I advise you to jump out of this spaceship right now before you crash. Because this is going to a no outlet. You know what I'm saying? And therefore, this once you filter that in the third dimension, this is how you size up a person's situation and be able to see where it's going. So I already knew where the Kanye West situation was going. Just by having true spirituality. You know what I'm saying? I already knew where that shit was going. So for the most part, all I did was sit back and pray on that on that area, right? So I was being a predator. I was seeing all the different ways of how that spaceship that Kanye in can reach that destination. All the different ways. And then once I counted it up, it can only go so many ways. So I came to this conclusion. Separate yourself from that spaceship. Allow them to stay on that road. And that road don't lead nowhere fast because they're going to try to use it to cut shortcuts. And when as soon as they cut a shortcut, the, the GPS is going to fuck up. AKA, they, they took the wrong exit when they thought it was the, they thought they was getting away with something because it feel good. Oh, I feel like we should go this way. Fuck what the GPS say. Missed the, missed the exit. Now, what was once about to be a 15 minutes left ride turned into a 45 minutes ride. Now, AKA in the third dimension, they took one step in the wrong area and took now they got 10 steps backwards. They thought they was about to use something good for TV. And now the TV show is showing them in a different light beyond the ratings of the TV show. Beyond that, people starting to see you as a bad parent. You see what I'm saying? Regardless if the entertainment still got the ratings up. So the Lucifer don't work with God energy because you're going to manifest probably more ratings, but you're still going to be unsatisfied in some way. All that money ain't going to satisfy you, a.k.a. you feel separate, you feel naked, you ain't got God, bitch. So you got to have all the million dollars in the world. Shit, if you ain't got God, you will kill yourself. That shit will make you kill yourself. Thank you so much for the donation, S. Musso. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart, real shit. If you, it don't matter. It don't matter. You ain't got God. You ain't got a sense of peace in that all possibility in some way, shape, or form as a spirit. It don't matter what you obtain from the Lucifer world or whatever like that. It still won't satisfy your ass. It don't matter how many ratings kicking it with the Kardashians going to get. Ain't, not, ain't none, of those, none of those likes is going to make her feel good about the audience still seeing her as a bad parent. You know what I'm saying? That goes beyond. Can't, no, can't pay for that. Can't, you see, you can't pay for nothing that comes God way. So shout the ways. You can't pay for nothing. There's not a word. There's not an offering. There's not a sacrifice. There's not nothing you can do to get on God's side. You either be as God, equilibrium, understand all possibility, and understand your will in that, which becomes your virtues and principles completed as a mind, a moral, a moral system, a morality. You either doing it God's way or that's it. Whoever you think you giving offerings to ain't God. That's the devil. And that don't work right now. Because we in a time, you, God is here. All possibility. So as soon as you come being a demon and use certain words, God going to make sure it's possible that you, you be used as a vessel on what it looks like when keeping too many crystals and gems go wrong. God going to make sure you the example on showing on what it means to be when demon loves being called God. But when it's time to be God, none of the godly energies work with them. Just be a little fucking demon, bitch. God going to show. You know what I'm saying? You better be careful what you're talking about right now. You better be careful what you think you into. That goes for religion systems, spiritual systems, concepts. If, you, if it ain't got no sense of reminding you. And let you know it's something you already know. And putting you in that equilibrium space so you can see it from that perspective. It's demonic. Never forget that. Never forget that. It's demonic. And, and, and if you don't know how to use your own mind, someone will use it for you. Another spirit in that space that you're in. So don't be playing victim or nothing like that. Because as soon as you start pointing fingers, you can only point fingers in a place that you at. If y'all all in English class... I don't care if you like English and this person don't like English. Both of y'all in English class. So a motherfucker who ain't in English class at all don't give a fuck about what y'all talking about. So when you playing victim and manipulating and pointing a finger and shit like that and saying all I see is demons, you got to be in that area to be seeing these things. You must not be something far from the motherfucking tree. So you better take self-realization, bitch. Real shit. That's what spirituality is about. Thank you so much for the donation, Angela. And the more you know how to take self-responsibility, that's the right light. 
You have light in God's way. You, As a spirit, you was in the right space and you create the actual light. Now you're getting ready to manifest everybody who think like you without you being something you ain't or taking some type of demonic narrative or something like that. Now you're getting ready to be the situation where you could be somewhere and everybody talking about you. Now you could be the, in a situation where whatever you're talking about is worthwhile, not a bunch of flunked out ass trauma you just went through. You got something to teach and you don't even have to get involved in any of that shit. You just can teach. I don't, I don't think people understand. But that's the thing. People can't do that because of the space that they in. And when you give them a mirror, the mirror behind them, you will see all smoke and flames and all the spirits they be talking about too. So sometimes you have to show a demon a mirror and show them, wait, this where you at too. Okay? Know that first. When a person needs to go to rehab... In order for a person to know they have a problem, first, I mean, in order for a person to accept it, first they have to know they have a problem. First they have to accept they have a problem. So a lot of these demons first have to know that they are demons. And in this context right here, Kim Kardashian, you need to know you are a demon. And God ain't let you get away with that shit nowhere far. So you, so you might as well say, fuck that show. Fuck trying to create scripts of adding Pete Adamson, Uncle Fester's nephew in it, and all that shit. Because now we got a different perspective of how we see things. So don't be trying to go get no PR, trying to write you a script on how to make a show to put you in a better light to make it seem like you're a good parent now. It's too late. We know you care more about dick and what car you're going to drive than the kids growing up in a sufficient manner. Bitch, you're not young. You're not in your 20s. You, you're, not, you're not able to sit around and say, well, I made a mistake or two. And I'm doing my life right now to, you know what I'm saying, to make things right for me. So you could be amongst others that's, that did the same thing and y'all to come together. Bitch, you pl you 40 plus, bitch. Uh-uh, you can't say that story. You can't get you can't get with no spiritual group and all that shit. Bitch, you already rich. Bitch, you already plus 40. Uh, nah, you can't have that same excuse. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Bitch, you a demon. Bitch, you a demon. You can't say you was young and all this motherfucking shit and you going through this shit now and you getting your life together and you can meet somebody on that same path. Uh-uh, bitch, you already rich. Uh-uh, bitch, you already 40 plus. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh-uh, you don't get to use TMZ to create that narrative for you. Uh-uh, it's too late. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Y'all, you grow as hell, but in the, the real world way. You a celebrity, bitch. Nah, nah, you can't run that same game. You can't run that same game. You not us, bitch. You ain't us. You can't do that. Y'all supposed to be examples and shit like that. Otherwise, don't be telling other females and shit like that that they got to go to go work. Y'all not working hard enough. Man, I know females got 12 jobs, and they still can't make that fucking money. They feet hurt. They refuse to get their feet uh, feet done and shit like that. They can't, they can't keep a toenail on their toes for the life to sake. You know what I'm saying? For the sake of life. That's motherfucking shit, because they got to work at and work and run up and down the hallway in the motherfucking uh, hardware back in the store all day. So you, you ain't going to sit up here and tell me somebody need to work hard. Bitch, you just in a better situation. Sit your ass down. Y'all say, you old pelican, sheep cat, sheepskin, bay bird. Real shit, you old Metal Gear Solid cheekbone. Real shit, goddammit. Can the, nobody try to slap you, for real. Nobody better not slap you. My name might not have no hand. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. You're trying to slap somebody. You got to do a whole nother palm reading. You got about four, five gashes on your hands. No, nobody told you to try to slap Kim Kardashian. Real shit, goddammit. You ain't got to even worry about her security guards or nothing like that. You got to do more worrying about you, your safety, your hand. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Somebody might think, your whole family might think you might try to commit suicide. They look at your wrist and your hand. They're like, what's wrong with you? What is you doing with your life? You got you to gotta really explain to them. I slapped Kim Kardashian. I didn't mean to. You know, they think you didn't went somewhere and try to slit your own wrist and all and cut your own hand and try to get some old demonic palm reading. Some you know, I said some old flunked out shit. Real shit. You gotta be careful. You know what I'm saying? She got a real strong, real strong arm and hammer face. Real strong baking soda dried up salt face. You know what I'm saying? Real uh, sea moss gold jar face. You know what I'm saying? Real good, real good roller skate blade face. Real shit. I'm telling you, it's strong. You know what I'm saying? Go, go through bricks, walls, all kind of shit. Play the keyboard with her face, all kind of shit. You ain't never heard no tunes on no keyboard without her face. Real shit, real harmonious tones and stuff like that. Could cross all this shit. You, you can't hit the keys the way she can hit it with her cheekbone. Real shit, don't go no further than that. It's too much, too much Botox in it. 
Too much Botox. <laughs> she couldn't think straight. Like, she couldn't really think straight and shit like that. She got all kind of serums and fluids. That wasn't the, the, the fluids God was talking about. That wasn't hev the heavily oils and stuff like that God was talking about. Bitch, them like Botox serums. You can't even think straight now. You got like burnt Botox serums coming from your pineal glands and shit. Like, bitch, you confused. You tripping. Bitch, you tripping. Now, like, look, you might wake up in the morning and ain't got no money on your goddamn credit card. Your little, little saint running around playing all the new rapper, rapper Papa video games and shit like that. Remember that video game? It was rapping MTV, rapper Papa. I forgot what it was called, but you could, like, rap on it once you push triangle at the right time. You push square at the right time. You playing all them little video games and stuff. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? All those little good Sonic video game, little Kirby games and stuff like that. Real good. You ain't even know. Your sex, your sex movie on one of them games. You know what I'm saying? You don't see, you don't, you see how God work. Now, do you see how God work? And, and, and this is a coincidence that is Roblox. Roblox head too is dad. You know what I'm saying? Roblox head too. You know, you didn't find your goddamn sex tape do playing Roblox and shit like that. Now, this is a live spectacle. Uriel's on TV now. I'm on TV now. I'm on VH1 and everything now. I don't, I don't go to front of that. I don't go to front of that. I'm, I'm there in spirit. I'm there in spirit. Real shit. I'm everywhere in spirit. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers is thrown out as hell, too. Like, Kanye, you ain't got to do nothing. Don't do me. You ain't got to lift a finger. You see how the destruction plan? You see how the devil play? You see how the devil destroy himself? The devil destroy himself. Remember, he, him, that's a different term for light. But de-evolved light. So when it say he brings the light or, or all that, that's the Lord, Lord, bringing a higher version angel or bringing a higher light or this he in general means light so a lot of times the english language and king james and the new testament got shit fucked up when they say he is the light the old testament don't speak like that they don't even speak in that kind of context or where they got it from it don't speak in that kind of context so a lot of times that's fucked out you need to know he that term itself he him he that just means de-evolved light a light that came down that a, a descending light. So that would be a Lord. A lower light. So that's that's how you look at it. So that's where you that's the only thing that speak and receive messages as oral traditions. The Lord. Nothing else is speaking but the Lord. You see what I'm saying? So keep that in mind also. So they, so they don't get lost in all these other front out shit the way they try to get y'all in. And then they're gonna try to use that Lucifer as a narrative. Anytime we can use a word. A, 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 a picture, a image, right? This is what your minds is controlled by and things of that nature. Because this is what you're supposed to be making up. Make up your own image, your own spaceship, your own mind about existence. And then when you, this is how you find a soul group, a collection of others. Y'all don't think exactly the same, but y'all think similar. So as a spirit, by default, y'all next door to each other. But when y'all start to manifest y'all different perspectives of connecting because y'all agree with certain thoughts and feelings in your own way we don't think the same but we see things similar that just means the temple you building is right next door to your other spiritual soul group member the house they building you got people building shit across the street so that's not to say we don't argue that's not to say we agree with everything but that's to say we in the same street we we on the street we in the same neighborhood we are neighbors so we're, we're not we all in one we think and feel in our own kind of way if another person from another city was to come to ours, they won't understand it. They won't understand like things, our slang, our jokes. Our, you get it? So that this is how the shadow government built their Babylon, all their streets and shit like that. And force y'all to get their jokes. Force y'all to live up under their circumstances. Force y'all to build their houses and shit like that. But every now and then you get a small spiritual group that know how to go buy their own land in the esoteric world and go start building. And then it play out in the third dimension as what we're doing. You see what I'm saying? But for the most part, in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, that's technically what we're doing. We all went back went to our own street and start building our own houses in that street and things of that nature. And every now and then, we be needing some help and shit like that. And we every now and then, we be getting lost. We don't be having no instructions. Every now and then, we go back to the city, a.k.a. Babylon. We go back to the city, use their tactics. A lot of us got jobs in the city. A.K.A. a lot of us got to uphold certain things because we got family and religion or certain things. We got things to do with the uh, five pillars in order to gain security, stability, and safety. But we know to bring that back to where we live and where we're trying to build and things of that nature. You see what I'm saying? So I hope y'all understand on a spiritual level, but that's how it's playing out in the third dimension. But for you understand that starting point, now you can see what the shadow government have already did.
for them being a soul group. You know what I'm saying? And now that you know how to understand what's going on, now you know how to separate things. And now you know how when people use it in a Luciferian world and how you do it in God's way. And when we see a motherfucking shit that uh, Kim Kardashian, Pete Adamson, like, okay, like Pete Adamson up there. Uh, uh, Uncle Fester's nephew talk about uh Kanye West energy towards me make me feel like uh I, when I was in high school and I was being bullied. You're not about to make that a narrative and make us throw all morality out the window like you ain't just straight up get with a married woman. It, it's no excuse that you met her and had a good vibe. They're celebrities. Also, you are. So you know she's married. Ain't no other way around it and things of that nature. So so we're not gonna get past that fact. Fuck what they're going through. Fuck their separation. God ain't say you supposed to come in and be no shining knight armor. God ain't say you supposed to add on to a broken home. You let God do his work and let leave space open enough. They might have came back together. And if it truly couldn't work, they do it God's way. When the separation is truly done, then people could be free. Because they already had discussions on how things going to play out with kids and shit like that. You don't come just doing and mixing things up when... Uh, business is unfinished and Kim Kardashian a demon because she not it ain't what we do is how we do it that's they they're having a nasty breakup that's what's going on with them they're not doing nothing and a little bit Kanye is reaping the benefit I mean is reaping what he so also what we actually what we actually experiencing in front of our eyes right now is really just a nasty breakup motherfuckers who ain't break up in the right way that's what we experiencing but everything is on a percentage level what we're witnessing is Kim adding more to the demonic energy than Kanye based upon the results. Now, it once upon a time was equal. Kanye was adding just as much, if not more. But Kim, she don't even know she wasn't adding because she's not spiritual. So she was adding just because of her career and just because who she is. And they all robots and sheep. So they was like on a race of adding who's going to be more flunked out as the air sign. And, you know, Libras, you, you, you already know they won. Yeah, you know I said they've been winning. T.I. who told them to be a comedian but can't take a joke. Everybody, General Fluten. You know what I'm saying? Little, little dirt, little dirt. NBA, young boy. Like, all these flunked out ass goddamn Libras. I don't know what's jumped into them or something in the air or whatever like that. But we already know that they was going to win. But for the most part, they, they was at least racing. Aquarius is, the Gemini, you know, flunked out Megan Thee Stallion. She's still trying to jump in and try to beat the Gemini. They're they all flunked out. All y'all flunked out in some way, shape, or form. But like I said, right? Kept, they was right there racing, right? And took Kanye seat my video. He took himself out of that demonic race. Now she there, and she's such a demon, she don't even know that that is a race. She think that it's normal or something like that. Now here come Pete Adamson, Uncle Fester's nephew, adding to it and shit like that. And therefore, now they about to start reaching certain flunked out areas that they wish they ain't uh, get into for the sake of thinking that what they was doing is the right thing. See, if Kanye would have kept adding to it, the shit she was doing would have been justified. AKA, oh, I just feel good. The only decisions I'm trying to make is what car, what cars, uh, what cars is we gonna make, uh, is we gonna drive today? Bitch, you ain't worrying about the the car, the baby car seats, and who gonna be in the back seat and the seat belts and shit. You ain't worried about that. Bitch, you ain't worried about spending more time with your kids and shit like that. Oh no, nah, I have enough time with my kids. I want to go out and have fun. Bitch, I'm pretty sure the nanny got way more time with y'all kids than y'all. Real shit. You get your fuck front out ass shade bird face out somewhere else with these goddamn immaterial lies that we always that we that we can experience, even though that we don't know you personally. But for the we just see it based upon the fruits of your bear. I mean the, the fruit that you bear. Now for the most part, here's the thing. If Kanye would have kept adding to it, shit she would have been doing would have been justified. Good ratings, Pete Adamson, justified, everything connection, Kanye. Fed into all the narratives, angry black guy, uh, uh, men can't uphold family, uh, men are, uh, he's scary, uh, uh, and now he's, he's an endangerment. A endangerment to who? These is his fucking kids. His kids is not scared of him. It it's a, it's a deep-rooted psyche trauma nature that society trying to create based upon people who rich and people who get pandered to. So since Kim Kardashian is who she is, Pete Adamson is who, who he is, they could use narratives to make you throw morale out the window so now we gotta look at Kanye as crazy as as scary as this that and the third no and damn well Kim Kardashian wasn't scared of that dick and then they have four kids as if in reality the fruit that they bear we know damn well their kids ain't scared of Kanye so whatever narrative that they get ready to create is based upon motherfuckers using a celebrity to anger a narrative because it can only come from Kanye being scary because of what Pete 
Adamson is afraid of and what narrative he's trying to explain. Because if we actually thinking about the people who's actually important throughout all parties, which is the children, when we look from their perspective, we know damn well they're not scared of their goddamn father. So for the most part, these are demonic narratives that TMZ, Kim Kardashian, all these motherfuckers is using. Do not get lost into the demonic world. And you got to see it in all perspectives. But I'm glad Kanye took himself out of that race. The moment Kanye took himself out of that race, he's she he left a demon there to hang themselves. And whatever the rope is, the rope appear to be something that they think was cool. The rope appear to be something that they think is good and shit like that. And shit, they, oh, yeah, we about to survive and secure. This person don't got this rope. Knowing that that same rope is the very same thing that you're going to use to hang your goddamn self with. And whatever you manifested from that rope ain't going to satisfy you. Because your neck still broken. You know what I'm saying? So you're still spiritually broken. you still going to have to prove things that the world don't really care about. And things of that nature. And you're trying to use the things that you have to prove it. And the world don't care about that. The world gonna care more about you being a bad parent, bitch. And you using your fucking siblings and your friends. And, and your uh, you di being dick happy. And your relationship uh, scandal. And your child for the sake of ratings. For the sake of developing money. For the sake of being seen. Because you don't want to be seen. Because you certain narratives. And it's demonic. It's Lucifer. Period. So we're not going to let Uncle Fester nephew, Pete, Pete Adamson, we're not going to let him come up here and try to change the narrative either and use these fucking tactics. Use these tactics. Oh, I'm being bullied. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Before we talk about you being bullied, who you being bullied by? Because I'm the psychologist now. Who you being bullied by? Oh, his name is Kanye West. Who is Kanye West? Oh, he's a rapper. Why is he bullying you? Oh, because uh, I'm with his wife. There you have it. You with somebody's wife. The fuck? Get off TV telling people you being bullied right now. Don't nobody who's being bullied care about that right now. Because people who get bullied, nine times out of ten, ain't busy chasing somebody's wife. So for the most part, let's talk about this, P. Adamson. You know what I'm saying? See, the world then lost reality now. The world then lost, lost what's real. People, as soon as people get rose-colored glasses, it don't matter if they jump out of religion. They still got the rose-colored glasses concepts of it, a Jewish concept of life. And they take that, and then what they choose to bite the, to bite the apple with, with the Adam and Eve snake and tree allegory, that's, that's the thing that all morality have to become thrown out the window for. And then that's when they get on a mission to try to convince you why when you pay attention to this, you need to throw all morality out the window. We're not going to let these spirits do this shit. Stop. We, we slaying all fucking demons now. I don't care what the celebrity or no celebrity, content creator, no content creator, regular old front that ass person, no front that person that nobody know. We using all demonic energies as, as teaching lessons right now. You see what I'm saying? Because the world need it. And we're at an ending stage right now. And we don't need to be dying with these things still on our mind. We need to be having other things on our mind before we die. We need to be having other mentalities, other, other accommodations, other thoughts and feelings, other connections in some way, shape, or form. This shit is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? And if these people are going to be the example on, on what's right and what's wrong and things of that nature, you need to be spiritually wise enough to know to, and to step in and be like, no, that's not right. So we're not going to let Kim Kardashian think what she's doing is right. We're not going to let her play victim. It's another victim thing again. It's all victim. So now we can see on TV that she called Kanye and now it's all good. And why she can still behind closed door be, do some sneaky ass shit for, do some strange things for a piece of fucking change and still be dick happy. You know what I'm saying? Nah, uh, 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 that's just like Jada fucking Pekins. You know what I'm saying? Every time she get dick happy or something like that, I want to shave her head because she was mentally fucking Tupac again, right? Oh, now she can use, oh, I'm damaged. Oh, I still think about Tupac. So now we got to throw all morality out the window when it comes to her being dick happy, fucking somebody that she's 40 years old, older than. All these flunked out ass modern women and shit like that. Now we got to hold their feet to the fire. We, we can't allow these people to gaslight. You, did did y'all see that video that resurfed, that resurfaced of Jada Pekins and Will Smith, and she sat up there and tried to uh uh tried to promote somebody that nobody even knows? Did y'all see that? Cause, and let me not say it like that, cause y'all probably don't know what I'm talking about when I say it like that. There's a there's a resurfaced video uploaded of Jada Pekins putting Will Smith on blast, aka push the record button live without him knowing it. 
right? And can see his face. Now, as a celebrity, I already knew what his face or and his mind state was in. Y'all, y'all probably watched that and thought like the average individual will probably watch that and think like, oh, uh, Jada Peek is she's a, which yeah she's narciss she's narcissistic. But before the gaslighting happened and shit like that, um, you probably think that oh. Damn, you can see Will Smith's face. They've been having problems. No, that wasn't Will Smith's first face. Will, Will Smith's first face, this was what, what was on his mind. What was on his mind is, why are you recording to and using my celebrity to promote someone no one knows? And, wh and why don't you think to yourself that, do you think that I want everybody to know what psychologist I, we're going to? As a marriage counselor, and did you even ask me, do I even want the world to know we're going through marriage counselor at the moment? But she a female, so she wasn't even understanding it from a logical perspective. She just looked at it like this. We just did marriage counseling today, and I feel good. So I feel like the world should know that we got this incredible marriage counselor. She's not thinking of the logic of, oh, we're celebrities. Wait, people are going to know we got problems? Why are we a marriage counselor? Wait a minute. And then on top of that, I'm Will Smith. You're Jada Pinkins. We shouldn't be promoting any rinking deep old person that we come across just because they're helping us at the moment. Let's keep our celebrity respectable and cute at the moment. You know what I'm saying? So as a man, he's thinking through all these things first. He can't say that, though. So the feminine energy come out first. Just a facial expression and just... Damn, you could at least ask me before you start recording. So that was that little look of, bitch, you supposed to already know we use our celebrity with actual common sense, bitch. You know what I'm saying? We just can't be giving somebody nobody no attention. And then the things on top of that, don't you know people think? They're going to start thinking that, oh, why are they even counseling anyway? It's shit like that. But your flunked out ass mind is only thinking, hey, we just went through counseling today and I feel good. I think people should know who this person is. That's as further as her mind, her Miss Sonic Ball marble face went. You know what I'm saying? And then that was the first facial expression of Will Smith. Then the gaslighting kicked in because her not understanding that. She think that Will Smith is against her just because she pushed record. Remind you, it could be about anything else. Will Smith, he might have cared about her pushing record because he's still Will Smith and he still understands his celebrity, but it wouldn't have been as severe as we've seen his facial expression if it wasn't if it wouldn't have been into the context of her promoting somebody nobody fucking knows. A, a fucking marriage counselor. So for the most part, she's not understanding it from that perspective. So she's sitting back like Thinking it's it's something about her now. Oh, he catching an attitude with me. Now she about to start gaslighting. Y'all look, y'all, y'all, y'all see how good the marriage counselor work then did? Where and the fruit that they're that they're showing as what they're bearing is they're going through a frustration at the moment. So it's like she are being she's being sarcastic while still doing what she wanted to do anyway. Promote that person and let the world know that she got a dope ass marriage counselor. You see what I'm saying? She, her, her big ass marble floor head may not understand the depths of this spirituality I'm speaking right now. But this is why she a demon. And we're allowing women to use these energies and not being able to protect their man and shit like that, right? And then when they do something flunked out and then they're not protecting their man to be open and vulnerable to all the demons and, and narratives to the world, right? They get to use shit like, oh, Tupac came to me to a dream. So uh, I, I was going through something and I'm out of it now. I just wanted to feel good, but it's okay. Because you here right in front of me talking with me about it and you accept it, right? You see how Will Smith got used as a fucking mascot on that red marble floor table on mascot? Or, uh, or uh, God damn it, uh, MySpace. Thanks so much for the donation, Shelly Bombshell. I appreciate that. You see how I got used as a fucking mascot? You see what I'm saying? And now we got the same energy right now. Kim Kardashian using her television show, kicking it with the Kardashians, using uh, using the, the cameras being around for money and stuff like that. Now her finding out with, uh, uh, that being caught in live time in some way, shape, or form, and them even keeping it because we ain't have to know that. They had to put that up. The the simple fact that they still put that up for good ratings, for good television. A demon on top of demon, devil on top of devil. That's that energy of all attention is good attention and, and playing out in ways where you're lying to yourself thinking it's not aka you got a public publicist and some people telling you keep the footage in but you know that 
what actually happened is a very negative thing that the average individual would deal with privately with their family. So you serving two masters, bitch. You can't get away with this shit. Uh, this real good spiritual game for your motherfucking brain, bitch. You ain't getting away with shit. You demons ain't getting away with shit. Not as long as you're real on earth. You better believe it. I don't care how much money you got. You can't pay for God game. You can't pay for no good game from God. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't said, listen, God play out in all possibilities. Bitch, you ain't listening to God. Bitch, you ain't in the space of God. So you reaping what you fucking sow. And I'm glad Kanye separated himself from that Luciferian world. So he in the space of God a little bit. So he's listening to God a little bit. AKA is coming through things that he's paying attention to. But as long as his spirit is in that presence, he's getting more messages than her. And we seeing the, the fruit that she bear. She's a bad fucking parent. She care more about dick and what car she's going to drive and, and, being, and being a young man dick happy. You know what I'm saying? With someone who's going through still bullying problems and shit like that. He's not even a man. So for the most part, what the fuck is going on? He's a fucking comedian. You know what I'm saying? Get your front. And I ain't saying comedian ain't men. But if you about to sit up here and claim victim and, and, and claim you're being manipulated and you're victim. I just had a video on this. Bitch, you a whole lot of comedian. How the fuck are you a victim? Last time I checked, comedians victimized themselves and others because they went through something. How did you up here screaming bullied? And in another breath, you a comedian. We're not going to let these demons get away. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no. No, we, we're not letting these demons get away with nothing. I Can't no money buy you no God energy or whatever like that. You paying money, whatever voices in your ear, whatever y'all are doing is for Lucifer. That's for demonic energies. And it don't work in today's time. It don't work in today's time. I don't care. I don't care if you don't get it. It don't work in today's time. So be careful with names you call on and all these shit. You start reading the whole encyclopedia. You'll start to understand. Soon's uh, fucking Pistol Pete face, Adam's apple face, you know what I'm saying? Start saying, uh, uh, I'm being bullied. That's a spell. That's a word. But the fruit that you bear is you a comedian and you fucking somebody's wife. Something's not adding up. So you being a Lucifer, you using the word bully for a narrative and you might not even know that's what you're doing and see how that crash into your life. See how that firmament blocks your canopy. See how I come crashing down like bulldozers and shit like that. And you ain't going to have you ain't going to have the much success that you thought you have. And if it is attention, it's going to be for all the fucking wrong reasons. That's how it works. All these words, all this shit is demonic. You better know. You better use these shits like a bitch. Don't use these shits for narratives and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all they motherfucking do it. And motherfucker, and I'm glad Kanye took himself out the motherfucking equation, right? Let them fill it. Let them finish hanging themselves. Let them finish hanging themselves. They got a little bit more work to do. You know what I'm saying? To the point, but to the point that people about to just start looking at their situation like, wait a minute, this is kind of ratchet. Wait a minute, this is kind of flunked out. Bitches, this all y'all do sit around and just talk around y'all each other, y'all sisters, around y'all fucking mother and shit like that. Bitches, what the fuck is this shit? You know, people about to start looking at that shit like it's corny. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's just corny. Like, they, they corny people. That's how people about to start looking at it. You know what I'm saying? They're not real. They're, and then you have a bunch of, like, chicks in Miami and chicks in other areas in California and stuff like that that look up to these people. You know what I'm saying? Because you can see them, because what? Fresh and Fits, that, that's based in Miami, right? And you can see a lot of people in California, right? Through these shows and stuff like this, you can hear women that kind of like fantasize over these women, right? So they look up to these women and shit like that. So we got to kind of like start to lessen like bird brain females and make everybody become more realistic because even to a certain degree even a bird brain female will start to look at kim kardashian and all of them as corny you know what i'm saying it's like it's, it's corny after a while you know what i'm saying because even a young a young chick that's in miami right now be like well bitch you 40 plus you know what i'm saying and bitch you got four kids you should have thought about that before uh before all that and you you not at that age no more where you can say that you don't have to be with this person and you could go find somebody else somewhere else and things of that nature and resolve the situation and make your situation right. Bitch, you 40 plus. You didn't root you old enough to have rooted yourself into a situation. You knew what you was doing when you started having kids. 30 plus, 35, 36, 37. Bitch, you knew what you the fuck you was doing and things of that nature. So for the most part, 
even even young chicks and everybody even in Miami and California that's bird brains is even about to start waking up and start looking at them as fucking corny. Like you're corny, bitch, with the shit you do with your money, the shit you get flunked out at, it's corny. And we see that you it's like these was hood passes. Cause that's a lot of times too how suburb flunked out people will get. They wanna be hood, but they're not hood. So it look corny and then you see them trying to do it and stuff like that. Like they can't wait to say nigga. You know what I'm saying? They can't wait to try to cuss somebody out or try to act that way towards somebody in the hood and shit like that. So the closest she got was Kanye and he ain't even hood and shit like that. So for the most part, Kanye, uh, her, that was his hood pass. I mean, that was her hood pass. Kanye. So she really just used Kanye to be accepted in the hip-hop community and shit like that. It really wasn't for nothing else. She ain't really love Kanye like that. She really loved Kanye. There would be a lot more respect going towards him in the situation that they're going through right now. So she, they probably had mad conversations about, yeah, I did love you, but I don't love you as much as I used to. Anytime a bitch say that, she ain't lo she loved you just as much as she's saying the way she loved you now. It just was a better convenience at that at that other time. And there was other shit going on. But as soon as she starts saying, I used to love you, but not like how I love you no more. I still love you, but it ain't really. The, what, she, what she describing now, that was the same percentage level how she always loved you. You know what I'm saying? Because if a, if a bitch truly loved you, first of all, you'll have a hard time getting rid of her. But if it is a situation where you did get rid of her in some way or situations happen where she got rid of you and these things don't the things don't work out or whatever like that, there will still be a sense, a level of sense of respect there to the point that there will be no such thing as your daughter being on Pete Adamson, Uncle Fester's nephew lap just by her morality, just by her and her mind. Like, wait a minute, I had this child with him and I. And I still got a lot of love for him. So I still respect the way he think and feel. So I know that this is unacceptable regardless of how much I feel for this person at the moment. You know what I'm saying? I, if that's the case, let me go ahead and make a child with this person so I can do that. You know what I'm saying? She not doing that. So she that's demonic. And, and then she and then she don't she didn't even she don't respect him. I'm not gonna say that's not demonic because a lot of times. A lot of y'all females have chat, have kids with some flunked out ass dude where a lot of time it might be another dude that's way better than homie, homie. If he ain't in jail, if he ain't get killed, he might just be flunked out. Your daughter might still don't want to be on his lap or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But that's for hood people and young people. That's not for people who rich, who 40 years old and should be well affirmed enough and have enough people in their life to know what they doing wrong or not. A lot of us out here be needing help. So we don't be having no examples, no parents, no other people, no older people. So a lot of times we use each other. And sometimes we come together with our baggage too. But we're teaching each other. She too old, too rich, too famous, too much around other people to even have any of those goddamn excuses. She can't have none of that. She already had all the increments she needed in the goddamn world for her to know when she was doing what she was doing. So she's a fucking demon. So she knew exactly what the fuck she was doing, how she was doing it. So I, I don't got no other choice but to chalk it up as she used Kanye for the for the hip-hop community. And Kanye used her for the whatever world she was in. And once those things start to fade, now, they, now the spirit is just there. Do we really like each other? Is we really soul group? And now they starting to realize they ain't. Because everything else starting to kick in. Frustration. Battling over time. And stuff like that. The other shit faded. Now they got to have discussions like this. Yeah, I used to love you, but I didn't. I don't really love you like that no more. Bullshit. Both of y'all been loved yourself on that, which y'all explaining now. It was just all that shit that y'all was blinding yourselves with. Because you ain't watched my video earlier. Even though it came out from that in the future from that situation from y'all. Because it came out today. But you ain't had no spiritual visines for your chakra eyeballs. So you got all excited based upon what was there and the possibilities that could be manifested from y'all coming together without realizing if is y'all even in the same arena as spirits to even supposed to be together. See what I'm saying? And it always crash. You know I'm saying it always crash. Otherwise, it'd be till death do us part. We'd be together forever. Or we'd love each other forever or respect each other forever. Evident, uh, until one of each, until one of us die. And I still forever. Because once you die, I still respect you. Once I die, you still respect me. So it's, it's both of our forever. It's gone. You know what I'm saying? Now, once you experience something crashing, and we all did. 
I ain't with my baby mother. I got full custody. You know what I'm saying? But all of us went through situations. Anytime you go through something that crash, that's a reminder of your spirit that you was in the wrong space, made a motherfucking mistake, and you reaping what you sow, and you got to make it work how you make it work for you to gain peace and security the best way you can. And it ain't no right or wrong. You just got it. The only way it's going to be right is just what's right for you. And what's right for you may be wrong to someone else. But as long as you can make it right for you, that's your best way of aligning yourself in this demonic world. Shouldn't have came here in a demonic world. No, take care of your responsibilities. That's it. Make it right for you. Other than that, it don't go no motherfucking further than that. But that's, it's always a reminder. You know what I'm saying? And don't cry about it. Just put yourself in spirit in that spiritual space and God going to make sure the people, places and things who are supposed to be in that space be in that space. And whatever you're bringing in that space, a motherfucker might not have nothing in their space or they might have something in their space. But both by both of y'all being in the same space, you got others to help you. You got new relationships you can look forward to. You got new circumstances you can connect with. And now you done left an old life and it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much for the relationship, Kenneth D. Harris. That's when you do it God's way. These people be doing a demonic way. You know what I'm saying? Get all this baggage and trying to do the same thing in that same world. So they just meet another flunked out ass person that just is flunked out. And you can do bad by your goddamn self because it's going to lead to the same thing. A fork in a roll. And then what you thought was cool at the beginning ain't the same at the end. So when went in, in the motherfucking hourglass, went out. You know what I'm saying? So, girl, girl, went in, went in, went out. This is the same way you met the motherfucker, same way the motherfucker left. So now we're witnessing a live example on how Kanye West and Kim Kardashian met. Kim Kardashian was cheating on somebody with Kanye. And Kanye wasn't with nobody. He was just having fun. But he was actually uh, really only wanting one person. So, so this is how they met. Kanye was in a space of wanting to be alone until he get one person. And Kim Kardashian was trying to find a way out of a relationship that she was in. So she manifested cheating or doing things behind closed doors until that situation was right, that she could go ahead and ease and slide her way out of that situation right onto another dick. So now we see how they met. Because right now we see how they broke up. She cheating on him and things of that nature with Pete Adamson, Uncle Fester's nephew, and, Kim, and, and, and Kanye West chasing her low-key and finding other people who look just like her in some way, shape, or form. So that lets you know how their relationship started. Same way how relationships start, I mean, same way how relationship end is how relationships start. So now we, start, now we know live how Kanye met Kim Kardashian. She was cheating on somebody and trying to find a way out of that situation. And Kanye West was trying to make herself free for only one girl. And that's how, and then they end up meeting like that. That's how they met. And the same way they met, same way they broke up. She was cheating on him, and he looked like a hoe that's in dazzle and distress and finding other people to remind to remind him of her. And that's it. And don't go no further than that. You know what I'm saying? That's how all relationships play out. That's how all, it never fails. That's how all relationships play out. So, it, and it ain't, it ain't always got to do with cheating. A lot of y'all relationships end because y'all couldn't share bills or y'all couldn't, one person didn't have a job, whatever like that. Think about how the relationship started. Y'all started fucking when one person ain't had a job and, and one and one person and one person was in another situation. So even that, so let's say even if one person had a job or whatever like that, when y'all started fucking, it probably was in very different circumstances, right? So when the person who had a job still probably was only fucking with you because you probably had the place to stay. Now, once that start, all these things start to ease up and things of that nature, and then it gets to the area on is y'all actually there for yourselves or not like that, that's when you're going to start to see the proof in the motherfucking pudding or not. You know what I'm saying? So when the motherfucker start using your place and take advantage of that, because they, they got comfortable with having a place to stay, but then they can take their money and go somewhere else and, and fuck or some shit like that. That's when you know you're in a demonic-ass uh, relationship. Y'all didn't start it on the right basis. Y'all started it on the wrong basis. Y'all started like... The, so the way it started is the way it ended in some way, shape, or form. The same way you got that person is say, and the same way they didn't found someone else they could live with. So this, so that's how you... So you met them thinking that they had a job or thinking they was on somewhere else and something like that. He was like, yeah, you can come stay with me. This, that, and third. That's how you met them, right? And that's the same way how y'all broke up. 
You know what I'm saying? This person found somebody else to move with, or then they you actually helped them get on their feet so they could get their own spot. Now they don't need you no more. Type shit like that. So when you start one that share the same energy at their house and stuff, you can't be over their house and their apartment as much as they was over yours. And then that's when you're gonna start to realize now nah, nah, they want their freedom and their space. And then that's when you realize they was only using you for some demonic type shit. They wasn't using you for you. you know what I'm saying? It's the demonic world. It's a dog-eat-dog dog motherfucking world. You got to realize what's going on in front of your ass. So, you know, they ain't doing nothing but practicing rituals and spells and shit right now. Um, um, as far as Kim Kardashian, Pete Adamson, Kanye, you're doing a good job right now. Now, it is going to be a time that you're going to start to feel this energy that you have to be used as a vessel. No, that's the right time, though. Learn the difference between the two peanut butter and jelly and banana uh, nut bread sandwiches between being two peanut butter sandwiches from a psychopath or being an empath. A.K.A. know when you're supposed to be used as a vessel or it's your time to act. And know that you have those urges that you want to act, but it might not be the right time to put yourself in that type of situation. Know the difference between those two. And once you get there, boom, when it is time for you to be used as a vessel, it's going to be so sweet. It's going to be so sweet. You're going to catch Pete Adams. It might not play out this way, but it might. God might make it play out this way. You're going to catch Pete Adamson at the right time. Right place, no cameras, everything in your favor, everything going to be in your will, and it's going to be those little split three seconds that you have that God give you the decision on what any route you want to take with it. It's like it's like the whole world that you wear going to be in your hands. It's, and it's always three. It's a three second lever. You got to make a quick decision, but whatever decision you choose to make, God got you. It's going to go in your favor. But if you don't take it, you're going to be regretting. You're going to be like, why didn't I just do that then? God just had the door wide open. And we all had those open gates. That you don't make that decision three seconds, you ain't say something, you ain't do something, you ain't react fast enough in that three seconds, the day pass. And you end up arguing with yourself like, yeah, I made the right decision not doing something. Not. Then let that whole day pass. You start regretting having just like, wait a minute, I just missed my chance. And that's how you start feeling. So, Kanye, you're going to get that time. And it might even come in this time. It might be a good baseball game or something like that. You just walk in. Pete Davidson, just focus on the game. You just right behind him. You like, whoa. It's like, damn, is this easy? And God going to give you that three seconds on whatever route you choose to take. It's all yours. And I'm saying real shit. I'm telling you, it get like that. It get like that. It get like that when you do things God way. God always set you up. He set you up pretty to the point that that three seconds is fast because it comes so fast. You'd be like, damn, do I ever want to do how I felt? Do I ever want to do the things that was on my mind? You kind of got to say a question. It. You got to like, hold on, this is too good to be true. Do I ever want to do that? Do I ever want to do that anymore? You know, so like for real, that's how I got it. It'd it be, it be real good. It real good. God set you up real good. Real good. You know what I'm saying? To the point that a lot of times it'd be so good we don't take it. And then we start regretting because we allow the demon to go further. And God be like, look, I gave you that little three-second window. You ain't jump out of it. So you're going to stay in this burning building right now for a little bit longer. But like every now and then, you know what I'm saying? God give you that window. Now, Kanye, that, that window coming up. So get prepared for it. It's going to come up. But you got to stay in God's space right now. Say, for an example, the baby had one of these moments. You know what I'm saying? Where uh his, his baby mother brother came to the bowling alley where he was supposed to be there. So for the most part, it's in his favor. He took the three window, he took the three minute window though. So this why you ain't hear a whole bunch of people saying, oh, but y'all jumped though. Y'all jumped him. Oh, but y'all slid on y'all was sliding around so he couldn't fight you. Oh, why ain't you want the one-on-one? You only gonna hear that from him. But the 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 brother, but he was being a demon. So any narrative can't work when you're doing the demon energy. Narratives don't work. It only worked for God energy. So it don't. It, it could have been little, the baby didn't even jump in at all or whatever. It don't matter what he did. Jump him or whatever like that. It don't matter. It was in his hands because he was more in God's favor. He was quiet the whole time. Only person kept adding to the fuel was her, was her brother, his baby mother's brother. He the only one kept uploading, putting energy, energy, adding thoughts, feelings, and where your mind go, your body go. Pushing the upload button, reaching out to people, talking, adding energy, in, more energy and energy floating in the world. Now, God just set it up so sweet. 
the, the demon in him even made him be at the wrong place, wrong time for him. And, may, and God worked out in, in the baby's favor, made him be at the right place, right time, where it's in his favor. And he there on business purposes. You know what I'm saying? This is a little bit why Troy Ave getting away with, with he getting away with a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because he was there on business purposes and shit like that. Nobody told Tax Stone to go to be there and shit like that. But that's, that's a different video. But for the most part, it's the thing, right? Now, so it don't matter what he chose to do with that three-second window. It would have went in his favor. It don't matter if he looked like he was bullying or not. The narr God wouldn't allow the narrative to play out that way. Because in, in God world, in, in the spiritual realm, God and, every, and God, God is just in the universe, see who's doing things the right way and who ain't, regardless of how it looks in the third dimension. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker was running his mouth, so it don't matter if he got jumped or not. It still played out in the baby's favor. So God always going to give you that three second window gate. It's up to you to know what you're going to do with it. Now, you could go overboard with it. Don't be no general fruit and still be respectable. Still use morality just because you got a bazooka and a person that you're into it with only got a knife. Don't mean you have to use the bazooka in that three second inference, but you can use the handle. You know, you ain't got to cock the bazooka back and shoot it, but you can flip it around and boom, hit a gun butt on with the goddamn bazooka and shit like that, and it still be in your favor. And you ain't going to hear nobody saying, but damn, you had a bazooka. Homeboy only had a knife. And ain't nobody going to talk like that because God ain't going to allow it because the person who had a knife was doing demonic energy, and then they ain't had no business being where they ain't supposed to be at anyway. You know what I'm saying? That's how it play out. Real shit. So two wrongs don't make a motherfucker right. And that's what we got a lot of things going on right now. So I'm glad Kanye took his motherfucking self out that space. Let these fucking demons continue to do what the fuck that they do. And you ain't got to lift a finger. You ain't even got to punch nobody in the face. And here's the thing. Once God finished doing what God doing, God might set the situation so sweet, depending on how Pete Addison, Uncle Fester nephew be thinking and how hard he think he is on his own personal, adding on to the, the demonic energy, God might make it so sweet that God just might have to manifest that in the third dimension and might just use your hand as that vessel. Real shit, I'm telling you. That's how I play out. But you got to let a demon be a demon. Don't be, two wrongs don't make it right. Don't jump down in the demon world and play with them. You was doing it at first. I'm glad you chilled out. Don't do it with them. Let them do it. So when the narratives don't work, and then when God set that situation up and give you that three-minute window, even if that three-minute window come from another vessel and it ain't you, but you could be able to be in the front row seat in the esoteric world at the theater to eat popcorn at that movie starring Kim Kardashian and Pete Adamson and see at the end of the movie it's a movie, a scary movie for them, God would allow it. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Thank you so much for the nation. Uh, uh, Lorel, Lorel. Larev, yeah, real shit. Yeah, bazooka gum wrapper face. I will say, oh, big old head. You got all kind of cartoon comics and shit like that. Read for good old days and nights. I uh, say, big old wrapper uh, head. But yeah, God open up a, a a a window for that. Even if it's not a vessel, even if you're not the vessel, in some way, shape, or form. But you got uh, you got to allow the devil, the uh, the demon to be a demon, and allow the demon to reach their destination. And it's always back to hell. Third dimensionally speaking, them not succeeding on what they was reaching towards, what they was trying to accomplish based upon a narrative, them not being successful in it. So you got to let you got to let the demon get there first. When you add to it, you you go there and, and help them and like kind of give them pointers because you you letting them show your you showing your hand. So you get them prepared on what you're doing so they know how to not crash as fast. They know how to make it look like they're going somewhere else. No, don't, don't get them prepared. Don't get them prepared. Let them keep falling. Then when they get there, then that's when it manifests in the third dimension. Then that's if, then God will use you as a vessel or use somebody else as a vessel. Right now, God using all of us as a vessel. God using me as a vessel. You know what I'm saying? God using Roblox. You, God using your head as a vessel. You having a big ass head for Archangel Uriel to look at it and come up with you being Roblox, you Roblox head part two. You know what I'm saying? Roblox head part one. We know that's goddamn Elon Flux, but Roblox head part two. You know what I'm saying? And God using, God using me as a vessel. And then, and then, God damn it, well, what the fuck is this shit? Shit be on everybody's shit now. These little uh, uh, 
But that lets you know YouTube is getting ready to go through a new a new transition. So start to check your subscriptions. Start to check your uh, uh, shit. Like shit might start disappearing. They might unsubscribe you from people or, or, or put you on shit. Like it's all kind of your algorithm may change. YouTube going through a, a different process shit. But other than that, this motherfucker shit down. Where's my motherfucker point? Yeah. They doing things in a motherfucking demonic way. So let a demon get there themselves. Then once they get there, it's going to start to manifest in the one, two, and third dimension. And you either be used as a vessel or God will uh, use what can come to them the best way possible to, for them to wake up. God will use that thing, that person, place, or thing, or group of people. And God using all of us right now. He using us as vessels for us to be wise right now. He using the video game Roblox as a vessel. He using me as a vessel. He used uh, to, to say Kanye, Kanye West got a Roblox head. He used a Rob, uh, Kanye head as a vessel. He made Kanye's head big for a reason because he knew Kanye head was going to be like a, 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 a starting reference. You know what I'm saying? It was going to be a sign in the future for you to realize realize that you need to chill out and find spirituality and find God. So, you know, before you was even born, God knew this. So God gave you a big head for a reason because God know that Archangel Uriel was going to be here and, and, and start roasting you and, and Uriel was going to be spiritual on the Internet. And then God knew that I was going to use your head having Roblox head part two. You know what I'm saying? And then God and then God was like, all right, so let me help Kanye find himself and find spirituality through this, through through my messenger. Right? And then boom, now you got the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. But really, uh uh, uh man, woman, son. So now you, with your head, you needing to understand and be ahead of your family, it had to come through the number two, which is duality, Kim Kardashian, who your son was filtered through, for it can manifest as the son. To manifest what you was flunked out in. And what did your son see? The demon. A.K.A. Kim Kardashian's sex motherfucking uh, uh, video. In some way, shape, or form. So now you know. Right? Now you're a little closer to God. And now you know why you got a big ass head. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. So now, now is everything now everything okay now. You see what I'm saying? You see how all jokes really is really just real life though? Everything come down to real life. For real. So if you ain't never had a big ass head, Archangel Uriel, Uriel would have never uh, roasted your head and said you had a Roblox head part two. And then your son would have never seen, would have would have never been playing Roblox and seen Kim Kardashian porno. And now you would have never had a case to show that in court this demon has bad parenting skills. So you have to ease up or whatever that they're creating to take me away from my kids. And boom. Now you're okay. You know what I'm saying? Now, now, now you don't got to cry while your head's so big and stuff like that. Because now you can say, yeah, God got angels here on earth for me. You know what I'm saying? That's why my head big. Now you go ahead and make a big old good album. Good old album on you know, my head space or some shit like that. Just make sure I'm on it. Just let me get the intro or some shit like that. So it'll be good. Everything will be good. It'll be real good. Thanks so much for the nation. Lorev, uh, you said, uh, never change. You one of a kind. Y'all done it. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. But it ain't really about that either. It's just about understanding spirituality and knowing the starting point and, and knowing that we know prophecy over in this motherfucker shit. And I love all y'all from the bottom of my heart. I might set up an open debate or, 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 or I got to finish some readings too or talk about some goddamn astrology or whatever like that. But yeah, I love all y'all from the bottom of my heart. I still got to finish preparing because I'm going to hit the road. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow's Sunday, then Monday, then after Tuesday, hitting the motherfucking road. And then uh, shit, I love all y'all from the motherfucking bottom of my heart. You better motherfucking believe it. <laughs>